Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. It is Halloween here in the United States, and uh, we are opening a scary product to me because Big League Baseball comes with mascot cards. And if you follow the channel, you know that I find mascots absolutely bone-chilling, terrifying, and frightening things. And... They have no business being in packs of cards that kids could be opening if, you know, if either of the presidential candidates had as part of their platform to eliminate mascot cards from trading card sets, I would be very excited to vote for them. Neither of them do, though, which is baffling to me, continues to plague the industry, these mascot cards. So uh, this is a hobby box, a big league. We're going to open half of this box today and we'll save the other half for using in... Uh, variety rips or just opening randomly at some other time but uh i i don't know i'm i'm a little frightened of this i gotta tell you i mean i've got skulls and witches and pumpkins on my uh, table here they those don't frighten me but mascots i, I am very frightened of so uh in a very uh i don't feel eager about this i'll put it that way I trepidatiously get into this box and see uh just what we uncover from here this is 2023 uh, big League. How do you get into this thing? I'm not sure where I see the... Uh, I guess it's there. Yeah, I guess it's there. There we go. Well, that's kind of it. Not really, though. I don't know how they put this thing together. All right, in any event, we're going to get into this Big League box and open up nine packs and hope that we do not get a mascot out of those nine packs because that's the last thing that I want to see on Halloween. Already the spookiest day of the year. I, I got to tell you, I'm... Definitely not looking forward to this. All right, so we'll get uh, it's 18 packs, I believe. So we'll get nine of these out. We got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So make sure there are still nine packs in here so that I've counted correctly. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So yes, I've done everything more or less correctly, and then. Uh, See how we do here. I'll put that back there out of the way by the skull and Jiminy Cricket hopping out of the uh, pumpkin uh, doing his best Ezekiel Elliott impersonation. Uh, these already feel like they're pretty mixed up. Big League's one of my favorite products actually. I, I am afeard of the mascots, there's no question about that. But I do really love Big League because it has such great inserts. It has really cool inserts and on some of them you can get up close and personal with the uh, player's fun box which I know you guys enjoy doing. Every time I do that, you guys really seem to get a lot out of uh, those really close looks at the baseball players' fun boxes. Congratulations to the uh, Dodgers for winning the World Series. They won last night and that clinched it for them. They didn't get the sweep, but I think that's, you know, still pretty great performance winning it in five games. That's pretty awesome. Yon Duran here starts off this pack of big league 2023 James Outman adjusting himself there on his rookie card. It's an auspicious start for James Outman, letting us know what's important to him when he steps up to the plate. And Travis Swaggerty there for the uh, Pirates. Have a lot of good young players on the Pirates. We get a uh, rookie Michael Harris the second card, and I'm not sure if these have the fun box on the back or not. We got a foil card in here too. Well, we got all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, we get a good good look at Michael Harris's fun box. He wore a Braves jersey when he accepted his high school diploma, so that's kind of cool. He wound up on the Braves after that, putting that one in the wolf layer, no question about that. There's Yoshida, nice rookie card of that player. Lots of rookies coming out of this pack, and Shohei, wow. That's a great pack. What a great way to start off our Halloween rip today. Kenley Jansen there, and our foil card is Corey Seeker. Not a bad one there either. That will get its own stack, and move on to our second pack being very cautious because we are very concerned about drawing the frightening, terrifying mascot cards. We do not want those, but it's chances are opening half a hobby box, we're probably going to get one, maybe even two. Drew Waters rookie card, another nice rookie there out of this box. Kyle Schwarber and Marcus Stroman. We get a City Slickers insert. That's pretty sweet. It's Brendan Rogers from the Rockies. Don't really have an insert uh, pile going. I guess I'll put it there. 
Hilary Jimenez is our foil card, and we got Noah Snyder guard uh, out of focus there. And uh, Luis Severino and Cal Raleigh finishes off that pack. So far, so good with not getting a mascot card, which is what we all hope. I think we want to avoid that situation, but that's why I'm opening this very scary product on Halloween. Happy Halloween to you, wherever you may be, and uh, happy Day of the Dead to you if you celebrate that. I know that starts tomorrow, I believe, if I understand how the calendar works. Harrison Bader there from the Yankees, and Cattell Marte. Nice in-action shot of him. Nick Lodolo, and we got a Hank Aaron card. Who doesn't want to see Hammer and Hank's fun box? I know I do. Hank turned down multiple football scholarship offers out of high school. I did not know that. Did not know that about Hank Aaron. That's pretty cool. I'm putting that one in the Wolf Lair. It's a nice card. Ken Waldachuk, who looks absolutely baffled as to what's going on around him. But if you're playing for the Oakland A's, that's probably a pretty common occurrence, I would guess. Joey Bart and Enrique Hernandez. And we finish off with Logan Gilbert hurling for Seattle. So far, so good. No mascot cards and some nice inserts. Can't complain about this stack of packs thus far. I'm dressing up as a pirate, for those of you who are curious. There's been some debate. I guess I could still go as a vampire if I wanted to, but my daughter is afraid of vampires, thinks pirates are fine. She's dressing as a skeleton, so those who find witches are fine too. But uh, vampires, not so much. She's not into that. So we'll see. She also doesn't like zombies. I can't blame her. Who likes zombies? I don't. Adam Wainwright, Brandon Lowe, they probably don't like zombies either. Ty France, definitely a zombie hater. I've read that about Ty France. He's known for that. 8-Bit Baller, Ken Griffey Jr. card. That's a nice one. I like these inserts. They're pretty cool. And they look like a Super Mario card on the back, in my opinion. I think the camera is too excited about what's going on in the background here with all of the Halloween paraphernalia I've put back there. So I think that's why we're getting... Some weird focus issue. Sideways card is our foil card. It's Shane Bieber and holy cow, we did. We got, that is, that is frightening. Good heavens, I, I'm trembling with fear out of seeing that. I'm going to show it to you guys and I'm going to, I'm going to look away. First, I'll show you the rest of the pack. It's Bryce Harper and Jesse Winker. Then, uh, you know, brace yourselves. It is Halloween. So in the spirit of Halloween, I'm going to, you know, put something frightening on the screen. It's the Mariner Moose. Good heavens, it's some sort of undead woodland creature that roams the forests surrounding Seattle, tormenting children and adults alike. Here it is. You ready? Good heavens. I, I hesitate to even put that in focus. It's just... Whew, it's frightening. There it is. Oh, uh, tell me that isn't the scariest thing you've seen today. That is, That is a hideous, hideous image. That is... That has got to stay face down. We'll put that over there. I'm, I'm really, I'm, it's going to take me a little while to recover from that. I, I really, my heart's beating really fast, and I'm going to have to take one of my, uh, one of my glycerin pills or whatever it is people take for, for their heart medication these days. That's probably something people took back in the 50s. I don't know. You know, all my references are from a long time ago. Willie Adamas here. Willie Adamas looks very. Uh, sedate and safe, just fielding that ground ball like it's the easiest thing in the world for him. Sunny Gray and a sideways card of Stephen Kwan. We got Byron Buxton, and uh, he's saying something there that's causing exclamation points to fly out of his mouth like that. His fun box, let's get a good look at Byron Buxton's fun box. His favorite movie is Forrest Gump, which came out when he was a baby. Baby Byron Buxton. There you go. Uh, I guess I'll put that there. We got Nick Prado, another young player for Kansas City. A nice rookie card there. Oh, wow, we did get an autograph card. Look at that. That is nuts. Shea Langoliers from the A's, an opening act auto. I don't remember ever pulling an auto from this product. Maybe I did, but I, I don't remember that happening before. Uh, it is a sticker auto. It fits into that box very nicely. But uh, nonetheless, we pulled an auto card today. That's pretty sweet. I'll let the... Uh, let the witch hold on to that one for us. And uh, Jean Seguera and Kyle Lewis finish off that pack. Well, goodness sakes, we've pulled a mascot, we've pulled an autographed card, and we've gotten a close look at several players' fun boxes. What more do you want on Halloween, really? I guess we could pull another mascot card and terrify even more of you. Chris Sale, 
pitching there for the Red Sox and Mackenzie Gore. We got Joe Ryan, a lot of pitchers in this pack apparently. A City Slickers guard of Bobby Witt Jr. from the Royals, really good player. That in the insert stack, Carlos Rodon as our foil. And then we got Rowdy Telez, Nestor Cortez, and Ahmed Rosario finishing off that pack. Three packs left on this Halloween rip of Big League Baseball, trying to avoid the mascot cards, but we have pulled one already, but it's been balanced out by a nice Langoliers autograph, Cabrian Hayes, starting this pack off, which I hope very much does not hold a mascot card, J.P. Crawford there. And we get a Hello My Name Is, which is probably my favorite insert out of this. Hello My Name Is Bryant. Chris Bryant, I assume that is, so pretty cool to get one of those. Dylan Cecil, we got another mascot behind him. I can see it says mascot right there, so prepare yourselves. I'm going to put that face down and get to that in a moment. Dylan Cease, tipping the cap to you. He's wishing you the best of luck, enduring the horror that will be that mascot card. I feel myself shaking and trembling already. Andrew Benatende there and CJ Cron, Eric Hosmer, finishes off this terrifying pack of big league baseball. This is the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks mascot, which I don't think has a nickname, apparently. It's so frightening, they can't even name it. It's like, it's like a Lovecraftian horror that can't be named. Those of you who read Lovecraft know what I'm talking about. All right, here it comes for those of you who think you've braced yourselves. Holy cow, that is worse than the last one. That really does look like some sort of uh, Lovecraftian beast. That's awful. Good heavens, I, I can barely keep it together to do these last two packs. I'm, I'm losing my nerve at this point. We've already pulled two mascots, and I'm... I tell you, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. There's no question about that. Those things are hideous. I mean, just awful. But people like to be frightened on Halloween, so that's why I thought I'd open this product. Mitch Hanniger starts off this pack for us. He's nowhere near as frightening as that nameless mascot for the Diamondbacks. Something that has clearly risen out of the sea and is some sort of nameless horror. Jonathan India there. And Kyle Wright. We got another 8-bit ballers card. It's Juan Soto. That goes in the insert. And Shea Langlier as well. That's our second card of him. And this is a foil rookie of that player. So that's a nice rookie auto we've got back there. Luisa Reyes. As we continue on in this pack, Mark Canha and Miles Mikolas finishes off that pack. We got one more pack here. <sighs> Gotta brace myself because so far this has been a terrifying rip of Big League Baseball 2023. I hope you guys have enjoyed it though. If you have, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel a lot and I certainly appreciate it. So we get some last pack magic here. <clears throat> and get something good. We start off, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, I'm getting a little hoarse. We got Estuary Ruiz starting this pack off. Nice rookie card from the A's. And Jeter Downs, another nice rookie there. We get uh, Sean Manea from the Giants. And another Hello My Name is insert. That's pretty nice. It is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Pretty sweet. Hello My Name is there. We get a foil. Is this our first, I think this is our first Orioles card in this entire rip. What is going on with that? That doesn't that doesn't work for me. Ryan Mountcastle there, a nice foil card. Put that in the wolf lair. And Emmanuel Clace, Zach Galen, the bespectacled pitcher for the Diamondbacks, and Josh Rojas, another Diamondbacks player. I feel bad for those guys because no doubt they have to see that nameless horror of a mascot that they have on the regular when they're playing in uh, Arizona. I'm going to show you these mascot cards again because I know some of you just enjoy the thrill. We'll try to do it like a, a jump scare, I believe is what they call it in the movies. See what we can do here with this. There they are. Ta-da! That, that is horrifying. I mean, that and this one looks like the nameless Arizona one. Looks like he's pointing right at you like he's saying, I'm coming for you this evening. You have been warned. I mean, that is just... That, that is... More than I can take, I'll tell you that much. That is tough. We did get a nice autographed card, though, of uh, Shea Langler's nice rookie autograph there. Nothing wrong with that. So, uh, overall, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, aside from those horrifying mascot cards, the bone-chilling terror that those induced, we got uh, Michael Harris, the second rookie, Ishida rookie, Otani, 
nice Hank Aaron insert and a Griffey 8 baller and uh, Ryan Mountcastle foil. So uh, pretty good. A lot of rookies came out of that, actually. That was a nice rip, aside from those really just disturbing mascot cards. I don't know what I'm going to do with those cards, but they're not going to stay in the house. Maybe I'll give them to unsuspecting trick-or-treaters tonight. They'll go home and open up their, see what's in their, uh, their pumpkins or their trick-or-treat bags, and they'll find that in there, and they'll go running off in tears. I would never do that. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. I'm going to going to destroy those and uh, keep keep everyone safe by getting rid of those mascot cards, not to worry. Or maybe I'll send them to John Burgess. He's made of stronger stuff than me. John Burgess, the autograph fisherman, is a big mascot fan. He always asks for them. I don't understand what he's doing with them up there in Narnia in Canada, but uh, he, he seems to like them, so I don't know. John Burgess is a, a pretty tough guy, though. If you've ever seen his channel, you, sh you should go over there if you haven't already. I'm going to sign off here and get into my costume. It's a pirate costume. And uh, the shirt is buttoned very, very low, so you can see, you know, all of my tattoos and chest hair. And uh, it's got an eye patch. It's got, you know, very, very tight jodhpurs that pirates used to wear. It's a good costume. I think the ladies in the neighborhood are really going to like it. See you back here tomorrow for Dorking with Dice. Have a great Halloween, and thanks so much for coming to the channel. As always, happy collecting.